I just saw a creature sitting here back from CNH Small G again. I'm giving a uh, another informative uh, review of bought some ammunition I uh, purchased here recently about a month ago. I just spent some time here today to make a uh, quick, uh, probably five minute video about the uh, the types I got here. I'm doing a, I'm going to do a comparison between uh, the two Red Army standard ammunitions out there and also um, uh, PPU ammunition and uh, Golden Bear, uh, Gold, Golden Tiger I should say ammunition. So this is the ammunition I'm talking about right here. The uh, Red Army Standard, the uh, the standard type, and they have the also the Red Army Elite. So they have two different types. They have the Red Army Standard and the Elite, and I'll show you what they look like here. Uh, the Red Army Standard, uh, Standard 1, looks like this right here. I'm going to do a compare between the other one here as well too. And the Red Army Elite basically looks like, uh, was that here? Oh, I didn't pull it out here yet. Oh, there we go. And the Red Army Elite, here's what it looks like. Here's the top one, the Red Army Standard, the Red Army Elites underneath there for that. You can flip it around here and see the other side for the other backs are right here. Here's the new stuff, and here's the older uh, style. The Red Army Standard uh, standard type is uh, green, lacquer coated, and has a uh, Sealing around the bullet where the casing goes right here. It has a green seal on the back on the primer as well. I believe these are Beridian primed. And the um, the Elite is a uh, yeah brass uh, brass uh, or it's just a uh, brass yeah brass cased on here. It's a uh, lead core, non corrosive, and uh, it's basically made in the same factory. I believe the difference between this one and the um, the uh, old style uh, Red Army Standard non Elite. Is this bullet is a M City? I think it's M. Uh, let me see, M City Seven type, I believe. I somebody probably somebody probably will um, cue me in on here, but I think it's the M C Seven bullet round that the uh, Yugoslavians were using for their SKSs over here. I think it was an improved round, so this one uh, should have more, um, uh, you know, call it effectiveness and more accuracy over the uh, typical M forty three bullet that uh, all these other ones take out there for that. So. That's the differences right there for that. Um, but the similarities, they come out of the same factory, same product, uh, same product line, except uh, one's uh, more higher end. And you can actually reuse these um, uh, cases on here as well, too. Uh, these ones seem to feed a lot better for my guns over here, these brass case ones. So they do seem to feed a lot better because uh, typically your AK or SKS uh, usually. They'll feed on basically any ammunition you have out here. The brass case ones, they usually feed almost like butter out there for them, so that's a, a positive as well, too, for that. And let me open the other ones up here. I just want to show you guys as well, too, for this. Get back in there. Okay, let me get that closed for you guys. And let's see. it's always good to have at least one of these range packs around. I got I got multiple packs of these things anyway, so I just showed these two right here anyway, but this, I try to buy in bulk to try to save some money on shipping and handling and stuff like that rather than getting raped by the local gun stores like Anthony Arp and stuff like that. The other ammunition I got here is the uh, the PPU line of the um, 7.39 rounds ammunition. It basically comes in a nice pack right here. All this ammunition is 2014, so it's basically the newest production they have on the line. I forget to mention that. Okay, the uh, PPU ammunition. I'll show you the box here right here. This is what it looks like. This is a brand new 2014 production. It has a stamping right on the inside of the box right here. 14. They go two in here, so it's only like back in February that so it was imported, I believe. Uh, this stuff is also brass cased as is with the uh, Red Army Standard Elite. So let me show you this thing looks like together here. Okay, this is the PPU right here, and this is the Red Army Standard. Uh, it looks like the kneeling might be slightly more um, they, they, they might heat up the casing a little bit more than the stip, uh, typical PPU, but uh, both of them are reloadable on here. Both of them is like have box or uh, primers on as well too. I'd, I'd basically give the um, uh, what do you want to call it? I uh, seem like the Red Army Red, uh, the Red Army Standard Elite is more cleaner burning than the PPU because uh, I noticed in the past the PPU ammunition is uh, dirtier. It's almost on par with like uh, Brown Bear and stuff like that. So. I would say the Red Army Standard because of the uh, cleaner burning brass case and um, also it seems to be more more accurate as well too. I, I'd say it edges out the PPU slightly more than the, um, uh, like I said, it, it edges out, I don't know, probably about maybe half an inch or an inch when you're shooting, trying to shoot 
groups for your guns, like for your SKS and stuff like that. So either one will be good for your AK or SKSs. I, I basically give out the uh, new Red Army Standard as a little bit more better because it's an updated cartridge as opposed to the, uh, the PPU. And I said this one's an MC7, I believe. Uh, the improved uh, 7.6 CD by 39 round for that as well, too. So that's what it is right there for that. And also the last one I have here, I believe I mentioned this one in a, I think a previous other video here as well too. The uh, typical um, Golden Tiger ammunition as well. I basically use this stuff almost exclusively in my um, SKSs because uh, it seems to function the best in my SKSs. Plus, it seems to be uh, pretty accurate in my SKSs as well too because I was up the range last uh, last Friday and I took um, all three of these up. I took um, the PPU. I took the Golden uh, Tiger ammunition up here, and I took the Elite, the, the two Elites up here, and I did a comparison between um, all one, two, three, four, four of them right here. And it seemed like um, the Golden Tiger ammunition was uh, uh, burning, the, the, I'd say burning the, the cleanest in, in the gun, so basically there wasn't too much carbon filing, you like build up on your, your bolt face and stuff like that, and down inside your receiver, and also. I took the gas pissing out after I checked out each um, one. And basically, I took some a clean solution to the gun range and just wiped down your gas pissing after you shot maybe about 10 rounds per stuff right here. And um, this, the, the Golden Tiger stuff seemed to be shooting cleaner. It also seemed to be more accurate as a, out of all three of these here as well, too, because it seemed to be that the, the, I'd say the, the groups were tighter than the typical uh, PPU, the uh, Red Army Standard Elite. And the Red Army standard uh, standard type out of the, the non brass case one here, the uh, the typical uh, steel case ones right there for that. So I say uh, this stuff is probably the most accurate stuff that I have right now. That that's my opinion for my uh, SKSs and uh, AKs out there for that. But uh, I use this stuff exclusively in my uh, SKSs, and I got uh, a few SKSs to say the least. And um, this stuff seems to be functioning the best in it. It's it's cleaner. And the other um, three I mentioned over here as well too, and it seemed to be more accurate because I was comparing the groupings for the uh, the guns um, uh, point of impact, and it seemed to have the most tightest groupings out of them all. Where um, uh, the PPU and the um, Red Army Standard Elite, I'd say they're almost on even par for um, uh, accuracy. I'd, I'd say the Red Army Standard Elite might edge that just a teeny bit. Then the PPU, uh, PPU um, high performance line. These ones would be will be next, and the uh, the last one for the accuracy would be the Red Army Standard, uh, the standard, the uh, the uh, non elite uh, ammunition as well too. So my top of the line, my preference right there for um, my um, ammunition for, for my SKS exclusively would be the Golden Tiger, because it seemed to yield the best grouping out of all the ammunition I have right here right now that I'm showing you right here for that. Um, that, that's not saying there's probably other better ammunition out there. I heard uh, Lupe ammunition might probably be the best out there for that, but uh, it's kind of expensive. And I'm, I'm not going to spend like 30 or 40 bucks for a box of 30 a mile. But it's almost like a dollar around. It's not really uh, worth it if, you're, if your gun's basically like a, like, like a, um, a, a plinking gun for a 50 or 100 yards out. It's not really like a uh, designated sniper rifle or a, or a sharp shooter, shooter rifle. But um, that's basically my review of um, all four of them right here. That's the Red Army Standard. Get the box out of here again. Red Army Standard, the Red Army Elite, and there we go. You can side by side again. I'll just, I'll just take one of these and show you again here and do, do a comparison real quick again. Here's the, the Red Army Standard is the green one I said before right here. You can tell it. It's green with, <laughs> they call it on the website, it's green with envy, but uh, that's their opinion. It has a sealed lip. I really like that on there for that. The Red Army Elite is their high-end brass case stuff. It, ha it supposedly has the M67 um, bullet in here that has uh, better accuracy, I guess. And uh, the other ammunition here as well was the let me close this thing up here for you. Was the PPU, the brand new PPU. Uh, this stuff's pretty good too, as well too. And the last is the Golden Tiger ammunition right here as well. That's what I use on my stripper clips as well because uh, it seems to be the best and keeps um, keeps the water from getting down inside the, uh, the casing down its way. It seems to have um, better seal around the neck right here than the typical Red Army standard. So I rate this stuff probably about a four out of 4.5 out of five. And following that would be a close tie with the Red Army standard elite. 
and the right behind that uh, slightly would be the PPU, and the last one would be the Red Army Standard Standard and the non elite ammunition for that as well too. So that's my review right there. Um, basically, um, the price wise, this, this is pretty. I think it's about I think about eight bucks, maybe eight. Let me see here. Uh, about a hundred of these, I think it's like twenty five or thirty bucks. So it's about a nice. It's about ten bucks, nine ten bucks a box. Uh, the PPU is about 11, 12 bucks a box. Uh, the Red Army Stand is probably about maybe 12 to 14 bucks on here. Uh, let me see. Yeah, the Elite's probably about 10, 12 bucks. And the Red Army Standard non uh, non brass one's probably about eight bucks right there for that. So cost wise and um, accuracy wise, the Golden Tiger is probably the, the best bang for the buck right there for that because as I said before. It seemed to shoot the tightest groups I found out of all four of these mentioned right here for that. So if you're trying to get the most out of your um, AK or SKS, me personally, this I use this in, in solely my SKS. As I said before, uh, it's probably the best bang for your buck for your SKS, and um, it shoots. It's, it's I may say it shoots the cleanest as well too. So if you if if uh, you clean your gun, you'll probably notice uh, considerably less carbon buildup as opposed to like Wolf and um. Uh, brown bear, I think, because wolf and brown bear are usually probably about the dirtiest out there for that, and uh, that's basically my review for the four types of ammunition I just mentioned right here. They're 2014 production out there for that. So, if anybody has any questions, comments, whatnot, as usual, you can either leave me a message on my page here, or you can call me um, after hours. And I might be able to answer your questions if uh, you have like a basic question out there for that, whether it's guns or uh, lawn and guard equipment for that. So. Give me a call here if you need something help or just leave me a message on my page and I'll try and as quick as possible. I'll see you guys.